Hello YouTube, it's that time again. The unboxing of my Blackwing subscription for the first quarter of 2017. So, let's dig into this. First thing I'm going to need to do is gain access to this, this package here. As you can see, I have yet to open it up, so it will be a surprise to me as it is to you as to what is inside here. Let's see, it looks like it opens up this way. All right. Okay. And what do we have here? Let's unload. That we have that. Oh, this is nice. We have that. Oh, wow, this is a double, a double thing today. Two of these. That is really cool. And I don't see anything else other than this, you know, shredded cardboard material. So I'll put that down here on the ground and well, let's just take care of this one at a time, and I'm going to slide, slide these over here, and let's take a look at these. Wow, that is really nice. It's called the Blackwing 205. You see that right there, the Blackwing 205. This one here, the finish is called Jade. It has a gold ferrule. The eraser is black and the imprint is gold, which we'll see in a second. And then we can see March 2017, which is the first quarter of 2017. So awesome. And then we have this other one here, this other tube. And this that says that the finish, well, it says it's also jade with the gold ferrule and uh, black eraser and gold imprint volume 205 so what is the difference between these two if they're both called jades it's the color of the jade see the difference awesome all right you know if you're familiar with these uh, black wing uh, volume uh, pencils is that uh, you know you, you usually get one of these this is a special deal because I guess we get two different kinds of jades so we get two of these and they come in these tubes because you know technically you're not actually supposed to use the pencil but it's kept in this plastic container so that you know it's a collector's item you just collect these and uh, you know Maybe they might be worth something in the future. Who knows? You know that the original Blackwing, uh, now from Everhard, is extremely expensive if you can get your hands on them. People are selling them like, you know, 50 bucks for one pencil, if you can believe that. Now, I'll never spend $50 for one pencil, but that's what a lot of them are going for. So you never know what something like this might be worth in the future who knows but I just think they're awesome as collectors items anyway because these are very unique pencils always look forward to when this comes in the mail now here's the box it comes in and it tells you right down here that we get six green jades plus six white white jades so it's green and white jades shows you the picture right there and then of course in the back we have the little story as to the theme of this particular uh, Blackwing release and it says in 138 BCE that's before the common era Chinese explorer Zhang King, King Queen, King, something like that, set out on an expedition west 
The journey lasted more than 13 years and laid the foundation for the Silk Road, a trade route that was instrumental in opening up communication between Asia and Europe. One of the most prominent goods traded along the Silk Road was jade. Besides its natural beauty, jade was believed to protect its owner in their travels, encourage creativity, and stimulate mental agility. Each Blackwing 205 set contains six green jade pencils and six white jade pencils. The number 205 references the molecular weight of jadeite, the most sought after form of jade. Each pencil features a gold ferrule, black eraser, gold imprint, and our firm graphite formulation. Okay, so this is a firm graphite pencil. I always like the way these boxes feel. It's very smooth. Kind of a nice pseudo leather feel to them. And inside we have that wallpaper look again, which I think is pretty classy. And then the inlay sheet that they always put here to, on top of the pencils basically says the same thing as what we just read right there. So I'll just go ahead and put that aside. And there you go for a little close-up of the six jade, green jades and the six white jades. All right. So let's take a look at the green close-up here. Move these out of view so we can focus on what really matters. And let's see if we can zoom in there. Zoom in, boys. There you go. This is the green jade. You can see the gold ferrule, the black eraser. This is Palomino. And that's interesting right there. It's these little cedar trees that they put there. I'm pretty sure they're cedar because that's the wood they use. But there's a close-up of the green jade. That is a pretty pencil, peeps. And let's take a look at the white one. The 205, and you can see the white jade. That is one nice looking pencil. Again with the gold ferrule, the black eraser. Okay, if you need a black wing, you can see that they are semi-hex pencils. They are made from cedar wood. It's firm graphite. The eraser is rested inside of a flattened ferrule, which is very unique to the black wing line of pencils. And here you can adjust the eraser. When you start to wear them down, you just adjust more and more until you have to replace them, and they are replaceable. And then you just slide it back in and that's it all right now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sharpen me a nice black wing 205 pencil to do the honors I'll just use the Kuhn long point sharpener So it goes all the way to the stop. Hmm. I love the smell of cedar. Shaved cedar. It's a nice smell. Yep. Nice smell. Okay. Once I have that lead sticking out there, I'm going to go ahead and put it in number two here so we can get it to a point. Starting 
get a little dark in my office here. All right. And there you go. There is a nice close up of the sharpened 205. And now it's time to do a little bit of writing. And what better to use than this nice little notebook that it came with? Let's see. When you open it up, it says inside black wing. It's, you could put a started and completed date. You could put your name and phone number or address in case you lose it and somebody can contact you. The pages themselves are blank. There are no lines or anything. You get well, it's blank up until you get to the third page and then they're dotted. You can see these little dots. And let's see if they're dotted all the way through and they are dotted all the way through. And then at the back, at the very back here, you have another blank, which is more of just a insert cover card for the most part. And then you have this thing here that says notes, which I'm a little puzzled because, I mean, isn't that what all this is for? Notes. But anyway, and let's see. Does that turn? No, that's, uh, I guess that's part of the back cover. You can't actually separate it. It has a very nice smooth feel and as a matter of fact I was thinking it might have been the same as the box but the box actually has more of a silky feel than this notebook does but the notebook is it's got a nice cover to it and then right in the back it says Blackwing right there right on the bottom but nothing in the front here except for what we just looked at so you have this couple of pages that are clear and then we go right into the dotted all right so let's go ahead and write some notes here I guess we can zoom in a little bit here so contact contact Rick's there we go all right I love the way this thing writes this thing writes really really nice so this is the the Blackwing 205 wow yeah that is a nice pencil. Writes really, really nice. So having the firm graphite, this would be the same as the Blackwing 602, which is also a firm graphite pencil. That's pretty much it. There's nothing else in the box. I'll go ahead and wrap up my little collectors here. And that is the Blackwing 205. A fantastic pencil. Beautiful. It's luxury. It's awesome. Well, I thank you for watching. I hope you like this quick review of the Blackwing 205. And uh, if so, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Little button right there. Leave your comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching.